Good morning, students. We are discussing on pavement design and highway construction. Our topic is construction of flexible pavement. Today, in this lecture, we will discuss on various bituminous mixes that available to enhance the property of bitumen. Okay. So, starting the lecture with the first one that is bituminous mix. Now, bituminous mix is aims to produce a mix which is more workable more strong and durable with that also the economic okay so all such parameters to be taken into mind the bituminous mix should be produced okay now if we talk about the requirement of bituminous mix then it has a few requirement that is the stability durability flexibility skid resistance and the workability so let's start the discussion with individual requirement of bituminous mix starting with the first that is the stability here the stability is defined as the resistance of the paving mix to deformation under various traffic load if we talk about the failure in a showing a transverse rigid deformation which occurs at the areas that are subjected to the severe acceleration here also what need is the stability if the mix would stable uh, would have the proper stability it will not deform the pavement now stability is depend on the interparticle friction primarily of the aggregates and the cohesion that offered by the bitumen sufficient binder must be available to coat all the particles at the same time it should offer the enough liquid friction also however the stability decreases when the binder content is high and when the particles are kept apart then talking about the durability durability is defined as the resistance of the mix against the weathering and abrasive actions Weathering causes hardening due to the loss of volatiles in the bitumen. Abrasion is due to the wheel loads which cause the tensile strains. I'm talking about the flexibility. Flexibility is a measure of the level of bending strength that needed to counteract the traffic load and to prevent the cracking of the surface. Fracture is the crack that formed on the surface that is the main reason are shrinkage and brittleness of the binder. Such shrinkage cracks are due to the volume change in the binder due to aging. Here the higher bitumen content will give the better flexibility and less fracture to the surface or we can say to the pavement layers. Now. Talking about the skid resistance, it is the resistance of the finished pavement against the skidding which depends on the surface texture and the bitumen content. It is an important factor in high speed traffic. Normally, an open graded course surface texture is desirable for the road construction. Talking about the workability, workability is the ease with which the mix can be laid and compacted and also formed to the required condition and the shape. This depend on the gradation of aggregates, their shape, texture, bituminous content and, and the type of aggregate. Angular, flaky and elongated aggregates have less workability on the other hand the rounded aggregates will improve the workability of the mixes now if we talk about the different different bituminous mixes those are dense graded bituminous mix semi dense graded bituminous mix open graded bituminous mix and the gap graded bituminous mix so let's discuss on dense graded bituminous mix this mix is possess continuous gradation of all primary aggregates. These particles are packed together. Here, interparticle surface friction is the reason behind the property 
of strength gain. Almost all possible flexible pavements constructed in the dense graded bituminous mix. There are mainly two types of dense graded bituminous mix. They are dense bituminous macadam that is DBM and BC that is bituminous concrete. Talking about the DBM, this mix is mainly employed for base cores and the binder cores. This itself consists of two different grades, grade 1 and grade 2. Grade 1 has a nominal maximum aggregate size as a 37.5, while grade 2 has the value 25. The fine aggregate percentages in both the grading are seen in a range of 28 to 42 percentage. The main criteria that differ both the grading are that the grade 1 consists of large size and grade 2 consists of some small size particles. The grade 1 with nominal size of 37.5 mm has the many disadvantage like a grade, uh, segregation. The segregation will later result in honeycombing. At lower air void levels, this mixes becomes permeable compared to the grade 2 DBM. Hence, grading 1 causes problems related to the water exposure. And with the increase in nominal size, the permeability will increase the multifold at a present void level condition. Now, talking on the bituminous concrete. The bituminous concrete mix is used also in two different grades, grade 1 and grade 2, wherein grade 1 has the nominal maximum size of aggregate that is 19 mm and grade 2 has 13 mm size of aggregate. As we have discussed in dense bituminous macadam also, it is clear that the dense bituminous mix grade 2 has a larger use as the base course due to its fewer disadvantage compared to the grade 1. The bituminous concrete grade 1 with the nominal maximum size of 19 mm, the binder cores binds the base cores as well as the bearing cores. The bituminous concrete grading 2 is very good to be used as a bearing course. To facilitate the medium and low traffic, a bituminous concrete grade of nominal maximum aggregate size 9.5 mm was necessary to consider for the construction of smooth and impermeable pavement in the urban areas. To facilitate thin asphalt lifts, bituminous concrete grading 1 is more suitable than the grading 2. The bituminous concrete grade 2 has been efficiently used in the highway construction in the United States. For higher traffic, bituminous concrete grade 2 is also recommended. Now let's discuss on the semi-dense graded bituminous mix wherein we have again two different types SDBS, SDBC and MSS. For the semi-dense bituminous concrete it has neither dense or open graded characteristics. It consists the so-called pessimism voids in it when they are fully constructed. The word is an anonym of optimum so it is advised to make the mix get rid of pessimism voids this tend to capture moisture or the water that will later cause the stripping when the semi dense bituminous concrete is employed above the bituminous macadam road there are chances for penetration of rainwater through the sdbc and reach the bituminous micarta. This will create the separation of aggregate and bitumen in the BM layer. This will cause stripping and the scaling of the concrete mix. The scaling later with time will result in potholes on the road. Now talking on the mixed seal surfacing. This is an alternative use for the pre-mixed carpet. There are two gradation both, in, both the PMC and MSS are employed in 20 mm thickness that are specified for the mixed seal surfacing mix and those are type 1 and type 2 which are differentiate with the nominal sizes that type 1 is a close gradation with the size 9.5 millimeter 
and type B is the open gradation with the size 9.5 or 12 mm. Now talking on the open graded bituminous mix, the open graded bituminous mixes have fine aggregates in a minimum amount, hence they are very permeable to water. They are employed based on a specific function in the base and for the surface mixes. Now we have three different open graded bituminous mix. Okay, so now talking about the first one that is BM bituminous micardum. For BM work, it shall consist the construction of a single course with the thickness of 50 mm to 100 mm. If we are constructing multiple courses of compacted crust aggregate premixed with a bituminous binder on a previously prepared base to the required specification. The bituminous micardum have high potential to attract the water and moisture within the pavement system. In the bituminous micardum mix, the bitumen to be used would depend on the climatic condition and the traffic, while the coarse aggregate shall consist of crushed rock, crushed gravel, or other hand or other hard material retained on 2.36 mm sieve where the crushed gravel is proposed for use as an aggregate not less than 90 percentage by the weight of the crushed material that is retained on 4.75 mm c here the binder contained shall be within a tolerance of plus or minus 0.3 percentage by weight of total mix the void content is 20 to 25 percentage higher than the dense graded bituminous dense graded bitumen and the DPM have the void content as a 3 to 5 percentage. Now talking about premix surfacing that is PMS. PMS is laid as a bearing course with a thickness of 20 mm. The mix will compose two single size aggregates. One is the aggregate that is passing through 22.4 mm and that will retain in 11.2 mm. The second aggregate type will pass through 13.2 mm and retain on 5.6 mm. For the preparation of premix, hot mix plant of appropriate capacity and the type shall be used for the preparation of the mix material. The hot mix plant shall have separate dryer arrangement for heating the aggregate. The difference in the temperature between the binder and the aggregate shall not aggregate shall at no time exceed the 14 degree Celsius. Mixing shall be thorough to ensure that a homogeneous mix is obtained in which all the particles of the aggregate are coated uniformly. The mix shall be transported from the mixture to the point of use in suitable vehicle or the hard borrows. Based on the aggregate and aggregate applications rate that are specified in the IRC 14. As per the recommended practice for the open graded premix carpet, the bituminous content by weight of mix should be 33.3 percentage. Now talking about the surface bracing, the surface bracing work involves the process of spraying the bitumen or rapid setting cationic emulsion of one or two coats. This is applied over an aggregate layer of appropriate size and gradation. The grade of bitumen shall depend upon the climatic condition. The size of the aggregate shall depend upon the type of surface on which it is to be laid and the traffic intensity. Surface racing does not increase the structural strength. The objective of surface racing is to provide a dust free bearing course. It will also help in providing impermeability for water percolation. Also surface racing provide high friction for the riding surface and also provide a renewal coat for periodical maintenance of bituminous bearing surface. Now talking on the gap graded bituminous mix, a stone matrix asphalt is to be used which is most commonly in the gap graded bituminous mix. With increasing the traffic and the high pressure of the tires of the vehicles will give the large stresses to the road pavement. The roads are subjected to overloading condition in certain cases. The stone matrix asphalt is tough, highly stable in the structure and rut resistant asphalt mix. The system rely on the stone to stone contact that will facilitate in strength. The rich mortar used in the system will provide the better durability. 
The performance of the stone matrix asphalt pavement that are constructed in India has performed very well. Compared to the bituminous concrete, the cost for stone matrix asphalt mix has been found to be 25 to 30 percent higher. The increased cost of SMA material SMA material is due to its composing materials like cellulose fiber, modified binder and the binder contents. With this, I am concluding today's lecture. I hope student you understand the topic thoroughly. Thank you so much for your kind attention throughout the lecture. We will see you in the next lecture.